We were founded in 1999 and we saw at that time that the civil rights movement was not over. Unfortunately, the United States has had a long, sordid history with race. I grew up in the South and I was exposed from an early age to the racism that exists and that it was particularly open in the South at that time. I wanted to do something about it. When we started Advancement Project, we knew that we had to get back to what was best about the civil rights movement. That meant that there were people on the ground who were organizing, using their collective power to move the levers of justice and power in this country. But we also had lawyers who were in the courtrooms. And we also had a very strong communications arm. Our goal was really to support the grassroots activists that would rekindle the civil rights movement and bring about a real force for racial justice in this country. Organizations like us really depend on organizations like Advancement Project because we can have as many organizers, we can have great leaders in our communities, but um, when we talk about the legal support that is needed, it's, it's not easy to get it. The National Office of Advancement Project has two major initiatives, one of which is Power and Democracy, which includes our voter protection program and our right to vote work, and then we have our Opportunity to Learn program, which includes our work uh, around ending the schoolhouse to jailhouse track. We all assume we all have the right to vote, but it's actually not protected in the Constitution. This is why we've had to face Jim Crow laws 50 years ago. This is why we're having to face voter ID laws today. So the Right to Vote campaign seeks to remedy that. It's a long range campaign to enshrine the right to vote in the U.S. Constitution. We're building structure on the ground. We're working with local organizations, local organizers. Through that structure, we're creating a strategy together so that eventually we'll be able to win. Education is a right, and the right to it um, should not be impeded by suspensions, expulsions, arrests. Overall, we want to see an education system that's fair for all young people, that engages young people, that keeps them interested and excited about learning, I and mean, that doesn't result in them getting into the prison system. We work to do that by really empowering and lifting up young people and parents from around the country um, who are looking to make changes in their, in their communities. Advancement Project has helped us with everything from figuring out restorative justice, what it means, what it looks like connecting us to local and national practitioners, to helping us figure out how many police are in D.C. high schools. Restorative justice, it's a philosophy to give the students an encouragement and make them feel safe in the schools. Here at Advancement Project, we're absolutely dedicated to a social justice movement. I've been so amazed to see the transformation in people when they realize their own power and just to be there to support them in any way or form using communication strategies has been so gratifying. The students always have power, but the fact that Advancement Project is always a support system for us, they give us that encouragement and that motivation. Helping our young people figure out how to power map, um, how to target decision makers, how to understand what their power can and should be, as well as connecting us with local um, and national organizers who are working on similar issues so our young people can really understand that they're part of a larger movement instead of just working by themselves. I cannot imagine any other organization who is so focused on making sure the grassroots are completely represented in the conversation and are at the table. We are not the leaders of the struggle, we are the support people. We bring an ability to help grassroots activists amplify their voice and amplify their impact. Our Constitution is a living, breathing document. And we're here to make sure that we can breathe into it justice and equality and equity for all people, especially people of color.